We've spent more than 10 days at high elevation, hunting, hiking, and camping. And those days have started to take a toll on both the dogs and people. So it's time to pack up Spike Camp and head back downhill. We'll make an adventure of it anyways, see if we can find a few birds along the way. Really clear night, so we've got a hard, hard frost. It got cold. I got up at some point earlier this morning and asked Ida if she was okay, and she immediately started to work her way into my sleeping bag. So, uh, it's one of those nights. Looks like it would be a good day today, really. We are set up to exit. Starting that plan right now, we talked to the plan last night. Because of the forecast we got before we left, which is the last one we had, which is the weather falls apart starting this evening and then Wednesday. So it's just close to the, uh, I think that it said in the morning was frequent or persistent thunderstorms uh, and a fairly high rain total. Now that would be down low where we got the down the base when we got the forecast. <coughs> we are about 3,000 feet higher right now at base camp. So the low is supposed to be 42 down there. The rule of thumb for temperature is when you're getting a temperature reading is uh, generally three degrees per thousand feet of elevation. So if it was 42 down there at a low, then we're three, six, nine degrees, 10 degrees lower, which means that it could potentially snow up here. And we don't want to get caught in that pass. Uh, if it snows, it's just not a place to be. Uh, so I'm going to start with the assembly and see how it goes. <coughs> Still going to try and make some hay of the day, get out, stretch the legs in the front of We've got to take our heavy packs down. Yeah. look around huh? one last look around got the pack mule started we got her we got her ready to go and we're gonna try and get the load Little ways out. Go, Huck. I can tell the dogs are feeling it too because they're sticking pretty close. They're each carrying, normally they'd carry their max load on the way in and then on the way out they're light. But because I had a restock, we've got everybody maxed out on the way out. So, we're gonna get these packs pushed a little ways up this hill. Get the heart pumping. And maybe take a little walk with shotguns. We'll see how we do when we get up here.
make sure we get a landmark going back nice. Landmark going back. Yeah, I've looked a couple times. It's uh, just a little left of the tall peak, it looks like. You like that way? A little that way. Send another one that uh, the distinctive tree. It's like. Yeah. Well, we ain't going to lose it. I just want to keep the shortest distance possible. <sighs> All right. So we're going to drop a little, come back out, and hopefully hit a spine and go hard left. Just climb back out to 12,000 feet and stacking these days up. And right now, your body and your brain are both working together, telling you to stop this nonsense. And so, we're trying to convince them they're wrong. It's a fun little internal battle. We're getting out here to where we try to get to. We'll see what it looks like. But yeah, back up at 12. About 20% less oxygen. And the brain just going, knock this off. Find him, Mike. Just had a flashpoint up there. I hope he's right. Where are they? Find them.
headed back downhill. Shotguns are put up. The upper echelon white-tailed ptarmigan. Safe for now. And now we're just kind of picking our way out. This pack now is probably the heaviest I've had on all of the trips that you've seen. Or it's a heavy pack. Because I had two pa two uh, attempts to stop camp. Now I'm breaking everything out in one load. Cut it short so we can use all the food. So this, that, the other. I can put in great, uh, great hikes this morning, great hikes. And uh, hunts all around. Got the seabirds. I'm not happy about that. And uh, honestly, if you look, because our exit is all based off of forecast from three days ago. If you look, you can probably hear the wind. Clouds are already building, it's 11 o'clock. So, that uh, tells me we are probably on track for a proper forecast. So, uh, we'll work our way out of here with whatever energy we've got left. We've got four miles to go. Pretty much all downhill. Over a thousand feet of drop. Those uh, four miles. So, yeah. We'll see what happens out here. Thank you.